Allison and I have a great relationship. There's no question about it. I think, I think we're best friends. I also think that we probably know more about the other than anybody else on this planet. I wasn't really sure that that would happen. You know, when you go into a relationship with someone with a partnership, but for a partnership, you just never know. And we were basically strangers when we started working together. One of the things that naturally happened was we started to write in our own experiences. So when we had characters that we were creating, these people were basically having the experiences that we've had in the past. And that's why the characters are so real. I give him a lot, just to let you know. I give him so much in terms of, you know, his ideas and his thoughts for, for whatever we're working on. Which is fine. I mean, I'm totally fine with that. I'm, he's, he's pretty smart sometimes. Sometimes I'll come up with things and I'll be like, are you kidding me? The reason we have the relationship we do is because there is no chance of any kind of intimacy between us. Now, when I say that, I'm talking about sexual intimacy. Although I know, you know, she probably wants it, but yeah, that's me after all, but uh, I'm already uh, spoken for. You know why I'm laughing? Because as a woman, if I, I, I and we're reading this and, and I'd be like, I'm out of here, like gone, see you later, buddy. But unfortunately, I've stayed in situations in which they were like that. Hey. So it's not completely implausible, implausible. Okay. You know what? This is really not romantic. Hey, wanna fuck? <gasps> no, I'm serious. Allison has this knack of being able to look you straight in the eye and say, that idea really sucks. I mean, that's legit. Like, that's realistic. Honestly, that is realistic, but I don't want to make him a bastard so that the audience... No, no, no. I, I know can't get that feeling toward the end of the film to, toward the end of the episode in which we want them to feel you know mostly what i love about allison is that she's open and honest she's not afraid to say what's on her mind he always has a really good sense of of where things are too he has a good perspective about life and about things and always helps me to realize what's important and helps me to realize what just needs to be pushed under the rug and forgotten you know allison is comfortable in her own skin she's good with who she is you know, she's got some challenges. I think I'm upset because I'm actually been I've been in that relationship, <laughs> and I've said okay. <laughs> over and over again. Over. Oh. So it must be great sex. You know, Allison knows that. Uh, you know, that I am pretty darn good in bed, and uh... apparently he's good in bed. I don't know that, but so it's not one of my likes, but. He seems to think he's great in bed, so that might be somebody else's like, but not mine. I'm not sure if she is. I, uh, she, she talks about being with a lot of guys that are good in bed, but she never actually said if she was any good. You know, it's, it's probably tougher for, for Allie because she's, you know, She's got to do all of this stuff while keeping at the back of her head, you know, how much she wants me. <laughs> Should I answer it? I don't know. Hello? Yes? Hi, how are you? I'm good. I'm good, thanks. I'm actually just working with my writing partner right now. Can I call you back in like about an hour and a half? Okay. Bye. Sorry. Fuck, buddy? I don't have those often. Norm might say I'm self-sabotaging, that I sort of go for the guys that there is no future, which is probably true. Like I said, he is a therapist as well. You see what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah. no, I don't gotta take off. He's like, shut up, you know? Yeah, yeah, Billy's gotta take off early. He's got something to do, so I gotta hang around. That's abuse, what you just did. No, I hardly touched you. Oh, it'll be a bruise. I bruise easily. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. How many bruises do you Don't have Don't touch me. When we first started working together, he'd be saying things that he thought were funny, and I'd just be like... Yeah, I'm getting there. Dan is on the phone. That's the problem with men. They just don't get there fast enough. Dan is on the phone. It's true. He, uh, he waves Morley over. Maybe I should become a lesbian.